Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. Um, I'd also just like to quickly clarify. Um, so last time when I made the video involving So Yummy, they immediately blocked the episode because I recorded their video. Um, but thankfully, since I was giving commentary the entire time, I was able to get it public. Thing is, it's copyrighted um, and like non monetized and all that because the background music in the video, which I don't care. I don't make money off YouTube videos. Anyway, so we'll be doing something similar like that, but we'll be doing it with the Tasty channel instead, seeing how they react to all that. Because I'd like to do it to regular YouTubers and all that, but then again, whenever I search up the like easy recipes and that sort of stuff, because easy recipes are e easy to bash on. All the thumbnails involve, like, very nice-looking people, and I don't want to bash on nice-looking people. <laughs> I'm fine with bashing on high companies that just completely fake their videos. But nice-looking people that, like, make mistakes and just try to cover up, I don't want to bash on them. No. So, I'll just quickly give you an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, I searched up 10 easy recipes. This one looks like it's maybe like a parent or something um, making food for their kids. This one, she's she's all nice and smiling. Josh Wiseman, you cannot bash Josh Wiseman. It's Josh Wiseman. Or Wiesman. <laughs> I'd honestly love to cook with him sometime. But anyway. And then Gordon Ramsay, you can bash on him if he makes a grilled cheese. Actually, I think that is a grilled cheese. Is that a grilled cheese? No, that's... Very weirdly toasted bread. No grilled cheese in sight. Damn it, can't bash them. Fucker can't cook. And then got more Josh Wee slash Wiseman. And the, look, he, he looks so happy. This guy looks confused and terrified. And then we got more Josh. Then more tasty. Then more tasty. And then the cooking food. You haven't heard that one. Anyway, so we'll, today we will be watching seven recipes you can make in five minutes. Now, I already saw clips of a mac and cheese as well as fried foods. Cannot make those in five minutes. So let's see how they do. Let's make sure everything's lined up properly. I'm in the corner. Good. See if my thing will pop up. All right, good. All right, let's take a look at this. Three minutes, so it should hopefully not become an over an hour long episode. <laughs> so let's see. Seven recipes in three minutes, so I just realized I should actually mute it. There we go. Oh, it's really boring when it's when it's muted. Anyway, seven recipes you can make in five minutes. All right, half cup of macaroni, some water, a pinch of salt. I swear to God, two to three minutes. That's not how that works. Definitely not how that works. Splash of milk, quarter cup of cheese. Pinch of pepper. It's not how that works. Your guys' cuts are horrible. I'm sorry. It's been just over 30 seconds and I already made a pause. Don't cook macaroni in a microwave unless it's already pre-cooked macaroni. It will not grow like that in two to three minutes. Just like, do meal prep. Find time to cook food in a pot. Just... Put it in a container, freeze it, and then chuck that pre-made food in the microwave. Microwave that. Boom. Do not do that. Yep, mix it all up. Then you got mac and cheese in a mug. I don't trust that. Alright, we got what looks like dumpling wrappers, some cheese. You wrap it up. I mean, it takes more than five minutes to let the water boil, but yeah, that is actually how you can make that. My parents did. My dad did something like that before because we had extra dumpling wrappers or like wonton wrappers or oh my, uh, egg roll wrappers lying around. And uh, so he figured he'd just make some like hot dog or like um, cheese um, things, cheese egg rolls. So yeah, that's basically what he did. So yeah, it's easy to make. It shouldn't be that thin coming out. That's probably just because the tongs were squishing it. Those will not have the texture of... 
Those will not have the texture of mozzarella cheese, though. I'll just tell you that. It will not be like mozzarella cheese sticks. It In in sense, it's like mozzarella cheese sticks, but it won't be like that. I'm not going to like this. I already don't like this. Barbecue sauce mixed up with chicken, handful of tortilla chips, put it on top, pico de gallo, cup, and green onions. They fail to take into account cooking the chicken, or even the time to get the chicken, or the time shredding the chicken, or the time chopping up the green onions, or shredding the cheese. Or they probably don't make the pico de gallo. A lot of people don't make the pico de gallo. But, like, they don't take into account the process of making things. They take into account the process of assembling them and chucking them into the microwave. But they are not taking into account the process of making the actual food. Like cooking the chicken, seasoning the chicken, marinating chicken hell. Let's see. Yep, yep, at least they clean up after themselves. That is a horrible cut. That thing was piled so much higher than before. And then you make toss on guacamole and sour cream. It's honestly better to make in it's honestly better to make nachos in the oven. I know it's not like a quick recipe, of course, but it's better to make them in the oven because like um the cheese is gonna get all greasy and such instead of properly melt in the microwave. So it's honestly better just to make them in the oven. I've made nachos for my boyfriend and I so many times um, since moved, living here. Because that's honestly like a good go-to for us. Because um, my nan and uh, I grew up calling him my uncle, but he's honestly like my step-grandfather basically. Um, uh, my nan and step-grandfather, they had one day every week where they had spaghetti. It was a special night. I believe it was every Thursday. Every Friday. Yeah, I believe it was every Friday was their spaghetti night. And so I was talking to my boyfriend about that before. I was like, we should have a special night where we just eat the one food that we love. Maybe switch it up from that time to time. Like something that's easy to switch up but easy to make and all that. And, and I was just like, what should we make? And after a brief pause of him and I thinking, we're just like, nachos. Because you can honestly make so many variations with nachos. Even if you're vegetarian and can't have like meat and all that stuff, you can make so many variations of nachos. But yeah, it's honestly better to make nachos in the oven because microwave won't melt the cheese properly. And also it's not... Actually, did they put the scallions on before or after putting in the microwave? Oh, they put it on before putting in microwave. Ooh, those vegetables are soggy. No. Cook them in the oven. Put the scallions on afterwards. You can put the pico de gallo on beforehand, but scallions or like green onions or whatever, afterwards. Not put them on when you're putting them in the oven. Or microwave, even. And yeah, the if you make them in the microwave, the chips are going to be extremely soggy as well. So just don't make them in the microwave. Honestly, I'm not sure how this will go, but like meal prep the nachos may maybe or like and chuck them in the microwave i've done that a few times before and yeah they definitely were soggy afterwards but like they still taste good but yeah definitely if you want good nachos make them in the oven all right four minute barbecue chicken off oh also something i'd like to mention real quick so basically every weekend for the past like month or so maybe more um, every weekend I've been making my boyfriend, like, an extravagant meal of some sort, like, larger than what we usually eat. So, last weekend I made him, uh, um, uh, pork and veggie steamed dumplings from scratch. Not the wrappers, of course. I made dumpling wrappers before. Nightmare to bake. I'd rather just use store-bought wrappers. I hate how small the store-bought wrappers are, but I'd rather just use store-bought wrappers. Week before that, I don't remember what I made the week before that, but basically every week I've been uh, um, making him a new extravagant meal. In fact, I've been doing it so much, I even made a menu for it. Yeah, January menu. So here are the few of the things on the menu that I designed for him. Let me zoom out for a moment. 90%. 
That's not good. 75. Good enough. But yeah, on the menu I have, like, cheese stuff, uh, marinara, bread twist. So, you know, like, bread twists or, like, bread that's, like, twisted into, a little, like, a braid. Well, I was thinking about doing that, but stuffing it with cheese. That's not a good sign. Um, I was thinking about doing that, but stuffing with cheese, similar how you do um, pizza crust. And so, like, just wrapping the dough around the cheese and then tw- twirling it around into a braid. I was planning on doing that and then, like, brushing marinara sauce over top. And then something my boyfriend's really persistent on is the marinated buffalo barbecue burgers. So I'm planning on making my own homemade buffalo sauce, and then we're going to get barbecue sauce at the store. And then I'm going to get actually the beef for it, marinate it in like the buffalo and barbecue sauce for like an hour or two. And then I'm going to chop it up very finely and then like beat it down somewhere how you make chicken nuggets. You like just chop it very fine and then beat it down until it's a mush. And then I'm going to like add breadcrumbs and all the stuff you need, like an egg, and then make burgers with it. Then fry it up in butter, as you guys can see. And then I'm also going to add a fried egg on top of that, so you get nice egg yolk pouring down the sides. So that's something my boyfriend's very persistent on. I know it's best to make burgers with like a meat grinder and all that, so you get all the stringy bits. But I honestly would like, but I don't have a meat grinder. And I'd honestly like to try it the same way you make, um, uh, Chicken nuggets. My phone just vibrated. Oh, update for my boyfriend. He's off drinking with his friends right now. I forgot. Oh, yeah. And I was planning just doing it the way you make, um... Uh, homemade chicken nuggets. You just mash them all very fine. You form them, you egg them, flour them, breadcrumb them, you fry them. So I was planning doing that, except without the egg and breadcrumb. Well, you do egg and breadcrumb. Um, but I was planning doing that, but a different process, but still mashing them into a paste to get that paste texture. So I'm hoping it'll work. I don't know if it'll work. I'm willing to give it a try. I don't know how it's going to work. I'm I, I'm just going to have to wait and see. And then homemade tomato soup, made that tons of times. Creamy potato soup, made that tons of times. Fried mac and cheese balls, haven't made that yet before. Plan on making the cheese sauce myself. Um, and yeah, just make the mac and cheese balls myself. Maybe make a hundred of them so it's like meal prep for him. And then like I was talking about before, the homemade chicken nuggets, just make them all myself. Maybe make, I was planning on making a marinated chicken, and then also use like seasoned flour, seasoned eggs, seasoned um, uh, breadcrumbs, and all that in order to make it more seasoned. Um, and then cabbage rolls, of course, because I really want to make and try vegetarian cabbage rolls, because regular cabbage rolls have are just primarily meat, and I love cabbage rolls from before as allergic to meat. Um, so yeah, that's something I'd really like to do and something he, my boyfriend also wants me to do that I'll add to the February menu is, um, Jamaican patties. I've made those before. They're, they were delicious once again, before I was allergic to meat. Delicious. I want to make them for him again. So yeah, every weekend I've been making him and his roommates a special extravagant meal for them. For them to enjoy or ha- and for my boyfriend to have his meal prep. There's extras left over. And so, yeah, that's what I have here. In fact, I can probably read out some of the things. Uh, going to quickly send him a thumbs up because he just told me he's slowly making his way back to my place. Sorry, thumbs up. All right, let's see. Because I have it written down in my notes because I'm bad at updating the cookbook. So I also made him, oh, yeah, homemade stick. Steak butter, six plus layer taco dip, easy homemade queso sauce, vegetarian chili bread bowls, chili cheese bread bowls, homemade mini bread bowls, barbecue chicken quesadillas, homemade caramel, vegetarian chickpea curry, cheesy spinach egg bites, some c- banana and apple cookies with caramel drizzle, homemade caramel drizzle, a vegetarian farmer's wrap. I made that for myself. Delicious. Um, 
banana cake, steamed pork and veggie dumplings, steamed veggie dumplings, like I mentioned before, brown sugar cookies. Those ended up fire. Uh, homemade dark hot chocolate. I've made, posted that recipe tons of times. Cheese stuffed marinara sticks and a bunch of other stuff that I mentioned on the menu already. So yeah, that's all stuff that I got to add to my cookbook. Now let's get into this. This is the nacho still? Yeah. All right, tablespoon of butter. Melt. Rim the sides. Graham crackers. Oh my God, is he making cheesecake? Are they making cheesecake? Oh, a text. Four ounces of cream cheese, sugar, vanilla. This is not going to end well. Microwave, four minutes, 50% power, 45 seconds at a time. They fail to take into account that people don't know how to adjust the power of their microwave. Also, at the same time, when you make cheesecake, it has to be in a water bath. So that's going to end up burnt and dry and gross. Chill in freezer. That's not a cheesecake? Wait, wait, wait. Chilling in the freezer after microwaving it means that it's going to take longer than five minutes. Fake news. But yeah, no, that's not how you make a cheesecake. Sorry to break it to you guys. That's not how you make a cheesecake. Cheesecake. Cheesecakes requires much more stuff. Uh, let's see, two tortillas, microwave them, chicken strips, veggies, taco seasoning. Once again, failing to take into account how they acquired a cooked chicken, how, how long it took them to dice up the peppers. Essential steps that take more than five minutes. Oh, that's going to be so dry. Wait, wait, wait. How much did it say to my co- That's for veggie. One, that's going to be extremely cold. Two, that's going to be extremely dry. Three, that the, those veggies are not even going to be soft. Those are just raw veggies. Four, you guys can do much better than that. Come on, you can do better than that. Have some standards. You can do better than that. You guys should be able to see that that's not good. Those veggies are raw. Those That chicken's dry. That seasoning's not even mixed up properly. You need some sort of liquid to help bind it together. Can't just mix it up dry like that. And then, yeah, just toss on the tortillas. Swear to God, if you make it a quesadilla. Swear to God. I swear... Swear God, he's it's a quesadilla. No. First off, your microwave tortilla is gonna puff up. So you need to first hold it down with another plate. So you need you need it on the one big plate, you need to put a second plate on top of it. Also, no, it's gonna take way more than four minutes to make that. Cause it, the prep takes a lot of time. So no. That's not how that works. These are very easy to debunk and hate on. All right, bread, chop it up. They're making croutons. Oh, uh, milk, cocoa powder. Okay. Banana, chocolate. Put the bread, more banana and chocolate. Are they making a mug cake? No. Just no. Don't do that. Don't microwave a banana. That banana is clearly not microwaved either because of the cut. It's not made properly. It's not good to microwave bananas because they'll soft and mush and brown and become very gross very quick. Do you guys know how to quick brown a banana? If you would like want to make banana bread, but you guys, those bananas aren't ripe enough. You heat them up in the oven. So what do you think happens when you put a thin slice of banana in the microwave? 
That's a terrible cut. Cocoa powder takes much more time to mix up than that because it's hydrophobic. I forgot the ingredients went into it. Hang on. I forgot all the ingredients that went into it. I might be able to debunk the mixture entirely. All right. Milk, eggs, cocoa powder, chocolate, banana. No, they're not making a mug cake. They're making a French toast. Yeah, no. Don't microwave bananas. That's terrible. The um, cocoa powder is hydrophobic, so it needs more mixing than that. Otherwise, you'll just get chunks of cocoa, and that's going to be disgusting. Um... They didn't put any sugar in that? It's good to put some sugar into it. If you were to make that, you should put some sugar into it. Honestly, I'll give some recommendations on how to make that, but butter. Um, uh, yeah, honestly, just make the French toast normally. Just make a mixture, your typical egg mixture that you want to do, like the egg, the milk, cinnamon, cocoa powder, um, and then dip your toast into it, add it to a pan. But when you add it to the buttered pan, I'd also recommend, uh, if you want to add chocolate and bananas, I'd recommend uh, sprinkling some chocolate chips on, um, I need to slow down. So you let it cook on one side, you flip over to the other side, you sprinkle the chocolate chips to let it melt on the heat so it doesn't like flip off or any of that. And then you place the bananas on top as well. Or if you like the bananas to be cooked into the French toast, then you can mix it up with the batter mixture and then make sure that the bananas stick to the French toast. So then when you cook it up, it will cook with the French toast. And then you do the typical chocolate sprinkle as well. So that's how you can make that, but better. Just don't make it like they are. Don't microwave a banana. Five minute banana chocolate French toast. All right, two eggs, bell pepper, ham slices, and spinach. Oh, they're making a spinach bite. Now I have experience with this. Do not make it the way they're doing. No. Hang on, did they put any milk in that? Oh, no. That's going to be so dry and gross. If you want to make something like an omelet, you need to add milk to it. Unless you're, like, lactose tolerant or something. But if you want to make an omelet, you need to add milk to it. Um, uh, in order to make sure it doesn't dry out, it stays moist, it puffs up nicely. Um, also, if you want to make something like an omelet or, like, an egg bite, which is basically what they're doing, just it's a large egg bite, Make in a muffin tin. I have a recipe for that. Mix up how you normally would um, uh, and then pour it out into a muffin tin. The this app standard mixture, one egg per muffin uh, container. Um, uh, but the more safer recipe, because the eggs puff up, would be um, uh, three quarters of an egg per muffin container. So you mix it up, measure out three quarters. Um, or if you just want to make it standard, just put in the amount of eggs per muffins. Uh, per egg bites you want to make. Um, uh, deep breath. That was my tea. Is it cool enough for me to drink? I've been talking a lot. And then you just set the oven to 400, 450 degrees, let it cook for, for like 20 minutes. I know it's faster, it's longer than this, but it's going to be so much better. Basically, the recipe I have is... Um, Eggs mixed up with um, milk, some butter inside the egg mixture, um, as well as salt, pepper, paprika. And then I butter um, line the muffin containers in butter. And then I uh, add in and then I ch put in some chopped spinach. And then I mix that up as well. Add in each portion of egg into the muffin mix. And then I put in a tiny bit of tiny cube of cheese into each egg bite to make it nice and cheesy. And I toss that into the oven for 10 to 20 minutes at 400 to 450, depending on how I feel. And then I leave that be. And it's delicious afterwards. Sometimes it's difficult to get out afterwards if you don't take it out properly or you don't line it with enough butter. But otherwise, it's really good. 
very easy to take out if you do it properly. I'd highly recommend doing that for like meal prep. Just make like 25 of them, 24 of them, depending on your muffin mold. I, my muffins molds only six, but yeah, I'd recommend just making a big batch of them, freezing them whenever you want them, chuck them in the microwave. Easy. All right, ham slices. Yeah, they're making them a cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's all. Uh, let's see. My laptop's getting low. My boyfriend's going to be here soon. I'm really bad at that. I made a less than four minute video last tw over tw nearly 26 minutes. God damn. I talk a lot. Honestly, I have to, otherwise the video will be blocked. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to end this here. I need to breathe. My boyfriend's going to be back soon, so I need to make sure he has something to eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed... Oh, wow, I'm white. So I hope you guys enjoyed this bit of education with Shedda Thawbery. Um, I'm planning on eventually making my own like cooking show and such, just to show you guys how I make my foods and recipes and all that. Just... I have a very small kitchen. My kitchen is literally this wide of an oven with this wide of a sink and this wide of a countertop, just side by side in a small little corner. And my fridge is next to my TV. So I don't have the setup for that. I don't have the space for that. Um, when I do move in with my boyfriend, when we get like a bigger apartment together, I'm hoping we get a nice large kitchen so I can do those sorts of videos. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to be able to do that eventually. I'm already at six months on my lease, so just six more months till I move. Four more till he moves. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this here. I've been talking for long enough. I forgot to live stream this whole thing, but whatever. Uh, and I hope you guys all have a great rest of your days. And if you guys would have, even if you guys find a video you guys would like me to react to and tear down, um, feel free to send it to me. <laughs> and yeah, have an amazing weekend, everyone. Goodbye.